Hey guys, welcome back. If you've been following along, you know we have four of our does bred. This is going to be our last breeding for the season. A lot of people breed towards a little bit more, but it's already starting to get hot here in North Carolina. It's been up in the 80s the last three days. So I don't want to push our does to be super uncomfortable. Then you got the health risk and I'm not going to put their health in jeopardy just to have some babies. So it most likely will pick back up in August, depending how hot it gets. But don't worry, I have a lot of projects this summer. I'm gonna bring you guys along. So this channel will still continue even though we don't have babies. But like I said, Jim's Charlie here is due today. I'm not seeing any signs of pregnancy per se. She's not nesting. She does lay out and that could go for pregnancy or just them being super hot. But I'm really hoping I get a litter from her or any of my four does. I haven't had a litter personally since August. So it'll be almost a whole year of not having a litter from my does who have already been here. Jim's Charlie here came pregnant when I got her and she did have a litter and she actually fostered some two from a previous litter that the mom got sick. So she has had a litter. She's not a first time mom. So really hoping she has babies this time but we're gonna go ahead and jump to Daisy who is actually next in line I do believe I'll have to go back and check but let's go ahead and go to Daisy so here we got Daisy she is not our next doe due in line she's actually due in about eight days I'm super excited hopefully she has us a litter we have tried her a few times that she's never took but I'm thinking I see babies moving on her side, but it's very questionable because of how her stomach moves in general. So we'll have to wait and see on her as well. Her nesting box is not ready yet. I just have some shavings in there for her to lay down in. It's a little bit too early to make up her nesting box just yet. But if she don't take this time, she'll be retired here at the rabbit tree. She's too sweet and she's my first try. So. I can't give her to anyone else. She's really special. So she'll be living out her life here in a bigger cage, nicer cage with a bunch of toys and whatnot. So if you have any favorite toys that you like to give your rabbits, comment below so I can get some for her. So super excited. Hopefully she does give us some babies because she really is a great mom. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our next doe in line. And I'm for sure this time so let's go ahead and jump to her. Our next up doe, she is due in seven days. I'm not sure what her barn name is gonna be just yet, even though she's been here for almost a year. I haven't came up with the perfect barn name yet, so if you have any suggestions, comment below. She looks super uncomfortable, more so than all the other girls. So I'm hoping that's a great sign that she is pregnant. She is a first time mom, so I'll have to Keep an eye on her a little bit more make sure she does what she's supposed to or if i have to foster out her babies or worse hand raise them which is very difficult for rabbits so have to keep an eye on her so i'm gonna go ahead and jump on to our next girl who is due in eight days here we got s'mores she's about eight days away from her due date she's also a first time mom so i got to watch her as well really hoping Daisy's parenting skills rubbed off on her and I won't have to worry about her litter too much but we'll have to wait and see I'm not seeing any pregnancy symptoms yet other than stretched out but like I said that could be the heat I don't have a nesting box in here yet it's still a little bit early I don't want her to use it as a bathroom because that could cause trouble when the babies do come or if they do come if she does have a litter, I will be keeping one of her babies to try to keep our generation going so I can build up a pedigree for her and Daisy and all the, the future babies from them. So super excited, really hoping she has a litter as well. But that's pretty much all I got on our does that are due this week. I do want to show you guys some updates we did this past week of rearranging. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So we did some rearranging here this week. We actually got all of our boys here in this three top cage system. 
we have our brindle buck up top we got spot in the middle and we got milo on the bottom then we got all of our girls together over here i am going to take this tarp off and build up the sides in wood so i wouldn't have the trashy tarp look i do have to put a roof on here as well so still got a lot of stuff to do i do plan on building some more of these three cages and lining this whole backup wall so we'll have to see how that looks but it looks a whole lot better now that i got the boys in this cage and then the girls in this cage so much better so super excited about that that's pretty much all i got for the remodeling we've done this week because it's been hot and i don't want to be out here when it's 84 degrees I'm not used to the heat it takes a lot out of me so that's it for these video. I have to f hurry up and feed them so we can go inside before the storm hits. It's getting kind of dark out as you can tell. Not super excited about the storms, but hopefully it pushes Jim's Charlie to have her babies tonight. So stay tuned for that. And I'm going to be posting either daily updates or every other day updates on our shorts and our TikTok, which is the same as our YouTube name if you want to go follow it over there. So, that's it for this video. Hope you guys have a great day.